exciting video and it is on some different healthy breakfast ideas that are all gluten-free. This is my second video for Celiac Awareness Month and it's also my last one with products from Glutino. By the way, if you don't know what celiac disease is, then you should totally watch my previous video which is on some different DIY picnic snacks, beverages, all that stuff for the spring or summertime. Also, also, there is a giveaway in my previous video too, which you guys do not want to miss because you can win some free Glutino products, so definitely go do that. I'm pretty sure that's it, so let's go! <laughs> first things first, we are going to start off with these blueberry muffins. Measure out one tablespoon of coconut oil and put it into a large bowl. I also would recommend microwaving it or melting it so then it's easier to mix in because then it's a liquid and not a solid. Add in 3 tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce. Mix that all up. Measure out 1.5 cups of yogurt. It can be either Greek or regular. Just make sure that it's plain. I would recommend Greek yogurt though because then it gives you more protein. Crack an egg in the bowl. Now we're going to take our lime, which will make it lime blueberry muffins, which I forgot to mention earlier. You don't have to put the lime in it if you don't want to, but I really like the taste of lime and blueberry together, so I'm going to be doing that. After washing it, I took my grater and made some lemon zest by grating the peel. I'm pretty sure I did two teaspoons of this. Squeeze out one tablespoon of lime, which is equivalent to three teaspoons. Then just beat it up or mix it up, however you want to say it, with your whisk. Go back to your measuring cup and measure out two cups of blueberries, then pour that in, mix it up, and now it is time to take the Glutino muffin mix, pour that in, mix it all up, and your muffin mix is done. If your batter is too dry, feel free to add more yogurt or milk. Now it's time to take a muffin tin of your choice. Make sure you spray it down with some oil or else the muffins will just stick to the sides. So I put an even amount of batter into each of the muffin tins and stuck that into the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes depending on your oven and how big the muffins are. Once they're done, you can take them out, look at how beautiful they are and how delicious they look. So I just used a knife to help get them out, and you are done. These look and taste amazing. I'm not even kidding. These were, like, so good. Moving on to the next thing, we will be making two different types of egg muffins. I took one of my Glutino English muffins, which tastes so good. Also, a lot of gluten-free products are normally dry, but these aren't dry at all. And they also are pretty high in protein and fiber. Turn on your skillet. My English muffins were in the freezer, so I had to defrost them before they got a little browned and a little crispy, which is how I like them. Also, be sure to stick some meat on your skillet. I decided to use turkey. And then you can just put the cheese and meat onto your English muffin, and that one's done. For the second one, mash up some avocado, cook another fried egg, put that on top. Top that with salt or pepper if you want to. This breakfast has always been one of my favorite, and that is pancakes. Put all of the ingredients in a bowl and whip it up. Those are two cups of unsweetened yogurt, one tablespoon vegetable oil, two eggs, and the Glutino pancake mix. By the way, my mixture was pretty thick, even though pancakes are supposed to be more on the liquidy side, so I just kept adding yogurt and milk until it was the perfect consistency. That was it for the batter, it's that simple, now it's just time to oil down your pan and cook those pancakes. I like to put berries in my pancakes because that makes them taste so good and then you're also getting the vitamins from them. So I decided to use blackberries and bananas but you can use whatever you want to. Amazing. 
Lastly, we will be making a green juice that can go with any of these. Now, I know that that may sound disgusting because most green juices do not taste good at all, but trust me on this, this one actually tastes good. The cool thing about this too is that we're using the whole fruits and vegetables, so you're not just getting the vitamins, you're also getting the fiber and the other nutrients in them that you don't get normally from a juicer. Wash and cut up one apple, I'm using too many apples, a little bit of cucumber, and about a cup of Swiss chard. Put all of them in a blender along with coconut water, blend it up, and you've got your juice. You don't have to have a special juicer to make this, all you're using is your blender, and since you're making it at home, it'll be a lot fresher than getting it at the store. It's a colorful, a colorful world, pain is so bright. So those were uh, four, five, four, five. How many are there? I don't know. But those, anyways, I hope you all got some inspiration and ideas of different breakfast ideas to make. Because for me, I never know what to eat in the morning, especially if it's a school day. I'm just looking in the fridge wondering what to eat. As I said earlier, you should definitely go watch my previous video and enter the giveaway for Glutino products if you want a chance to win some for free. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!